This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, saving your day from boredom with the best podcasting entertainment. What's up, what's up, real MVPs, Ricky Widmer here, along with fellow man-child, Johnny Carlin. And we are back for the Rick and Johnny podcast right here on Most Fellow Podcast, where we look at everything under the two nerdy suns. And we got a jam-packed show. We got not just three topics today, Johnny. We've got how many topics? Not five. We got four topics today. We're talking about four. Two of them are kind of, I'm not going to say kind of the same because they're different, but two of them go together. One's Marvel, the other one's Marvel. The rest are not Marvel. So this is the first podcast we've had in two weeks that are completely not one thing. And we got some diversity in our topics. Before I get to those, a little bit of housekeeping here at the beginning. Number one, if you want to help support us, make sure to check out patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. If you want to join a Rick and Johnny podcast in the future, Join us at that $10 tier. You support MVP. We give back to you by letting you be a guest on our podcast, talking about what you want to talk about. You can also support us by getting yourself an MVP t-shirt. That link down below in the description as well. You can also get it at mostvaluablepodcasts.com, where you can also catch MVP each and every day. And then last but not least, please go on to iTunes. Give us a five-star rating if you would so please. I got to add that last part in Mm -hmm. because I got yelled at in the comment section about how dare you tell me what to do. Um, So now I'm asking for it politely. So please, if you could give us a five-star rating, it would mean the world to us. Let us know why you like listening to the podcast. And also, Too Old the Game, our gaming podcast, just got on iTunes yesterday. So now you can listen to Too Old the Game as well on iTunes with all your MVP needs. But Johnny... Jam packed show today. Obviously, we got to talk about Captain Marvel. Um, we knew we were going to be between a rock and a hard place because mm-hmm. they said, Oh, yeah, Tuesday, Brie Larson is going to be on uh, Good Morning America, which everyone's like, Well, Captain Marvel trailer. That's when we're yep. getting it. And we did, and it looks fantastic. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to take a look at later in the show uh, Marvel's new TV shows mm-hmm. um, that they're developing for the DC streaming service. And we're going to talk about can it fix the MCU, but we're also going to talk about that in general in a broader scope. We're going to look at some James Bond rumors. Could Henry Cavill be Bond or should he be Bond after yeah, Daniel Craig? And then we're going to end the show looking at DC and ask the age-old question that everyone wants to know. Did the DCEU ruin Batman and Superman? But the first thing we got to look into is Captain Marvel. And you guys know how we do trailers, especially these big trailers here on the Rick and Johnny podcast is what we do is I have to go over to my computer and we kind of listen to the trailer and react to it. So you guys can see it. So you guys can watch it with us. Yeah. You got to make sure your volume's up because that is a very importante. um, Muy importante. Muy importante. Muy. 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 I thought it was muy. No. Muy? It's muy. Okay. Muy importante. See, you learn some Spanish that you learned in high school each and every day here at MVP. Are you all ready to start this thing? Yes. All right. Three, two, one, go. (laughs) That 90s throwback. Gotta love that blockbuster, baby. Nothing says 90s like blockbuster. Dude, it made me miss it. It <laughs> made true. me miss it. It's true. I did for a few seconds. I'm like, oh, blockbuster. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Big car chase. I like the detail to make everything look like it's in the 90s. Because mm-hmm. I know that's where it takes place. So, oh, but of course. You're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. We have no 
idea what threats are out there. We can't do this Punch alone. Granny in the face. I right know there, that was it. We need so you had uh, Coulson. It was right there. Did you miss it? I think I did. Okay. I'll have to have you go back and give you the timestamp for it. Because I told you I was going to point it out. I think we get all you distracted by her punching grandma in the face. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot she punched grandma in the face. Um, but the thing that I like most about this trailer mm -hmm. is to me it's nothing that it's nothing that popped out and was like, oh my god, what up? Like part of me is just like, all right, I am interested yeah, about no, this one. Um the timestamp with Colson, I'm gonna find it really quickly because it's towards the end of the trailer. It's right after she punches Granny in the face. Um, let's see. Yeah. So it's about a minute 32 into the trailer. He, yep, there he is. He takes off his glasses. And at first, I thought it was, I was like, what? Is is that is that younger K from Men in Black? And then, like, I went back and looked, and I was like, holy shit, that's, that's Agent Coulson. Coulson. That's younger like, Coulson. And it's weird to see him with hair, more hair, more hair. You're right, more hair because it's like he didn't have hair on the top of his head. I mean, when we saw him in the Avengers, same with Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, He's but Samuel from no hair to like, hair. Samuel, it kind of reminds me of the LeBron James thing mm -hmm. where, yeah, he had no hair, but like where LeBron age eighteen, the hairline is here. But then age 35, the hairline is just back here. The hairline just keeps going back and back and back to eventually to where it's all gone. This visually shook me to where every, it's like, uh, holy crap, that's Colson. Every year that he takes off a uh, centimeter. Yeah, he takes off one centimeter for every year. But first, I'll ask you this. What are your thoughts after seeing, obviously, this is not, I'm not going to lie, this is not our first time no, watching this not. trailer. Um, it's usually not. I usually, when these trailers come out, have to binge them a couple kajillion bajillion times um, if those are even real figures that you can work with. Million, but what are your thoughts times. after seeing the Captain Marvel trailer now that we actually see something for the movie? No, I'm actually really excited for it because um, interesting, like they're leaving a lot of things open so that you want to see it anyways, mm -hmm. which kudos on them for that because like, oh, she doesn't remember where she's from exactly. She doesn't mm -hmm. remember... Like, you want to know why she doesn't know who she is. You want to know who the, you want to know who the protagonist is. Because we haven't really gotten a great idea on who it is mm -hmm. yet. I mean, we've seen, excuse me, some stills of Skrull. We've seen uh, who we, as of now, possibly is Cap um, Captain Marvel. Or it could be Jan Rog. Yeah, they, they still like. I, that's why I say could be. Captain well, and that's Marvel. the thing. That's why I put secret villain theory. Yeah. In this because after seeing this trailer, mm -hmm. I'm still not convinced that he's Marvel. I'm still like now the fact that like you said, she was taken from Earth. What whatever that story may be, there is. I'm thinking Jude Law's character. Mm -hmm. is the one kind of suppressing her memories or trying to keep her memories down because he probably saw, wow, she could be a valuable asset to my team. We can't have this falling into the scrolls hands. We need this on the Kree side could be. of this war. Um, but still, we don't know. Could be Captain Marvel. Could be Jan Rog. But go on with what you were saying. Oh, uh, that's really about it. Like, there's a lot of open-ended questions, which like in the right way too. Mm -hmm. They put a lot, left a lot of open-ended questions in the right way, and then mm -hmm. you, the very end of it, where she just superpowers up. Awesome. Well, and visually awesome. I wonder. I wonder what what is going to be the scene where she goes. I you don't know. Like I'm not who you think I am. And part of me is like, who is she talking to there? Is it just a random person? Is it basically where it's like, no, like you just think I'm a normal human. I'm not. I have these Cree powers and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, kind of the funny moment of the trailer, like I mentioned, punching granny in the face. Yeah. Um, I'm a. I'm assuming that it's just going to be like, oh, there's little old granny who would punch Cree, and she just clocks him in the face. Or and then you just scroll. You know, scroll, that's what I mean. Like, <sighs> And that just changes into Smiles at the her. green scrawl. 
Bam! Because, I mean, that's going to be a part of it, too, is finding the scroll for the secret invasion part of it. Because, like, Nick Fury mentioned, and it's, to me, it was kind of like, oh, well, I guess at this time in the 90s, he wouldn't think about that because he don't know who Thor is. Exactly. Um, but, like he mentioned, war is a universal language. And he goes, oh, I never thought that... A soul, like you're, I can tell a blah, blah, blah soldier, Your soldier never thought they'd come from above. Yeah. Like, at, and that's like, wow, you know, at this time, 90s, this is well before Iron Man, well before all the super stuff that we're dealing with now, the Sokovia Accords and everything in the MCU mm-hmm. to where not many people at this time where the movie's taking place would think, yeah, let's look up. Because that's where danger is going to come. No, exactly. You wouldn't think that because uh, mm-hmm. you're dealing with danger at, uh, right then and there. Why mm-hmm. would you be worrying about anything coming from above? I want to ask you this. And this is from an article on Screen Rant that I pulled up. I originally, I'll be honest, didn't put it in our pre-show notes, the ones that I send you with yeah. the topics and um, links, because I wasn't sure if I was going to do it. Because the article says, Captain Marvel Theory... Carol's mother is secretly spoiler. Um, but after reading the article, she's spoiler. I don't think it's going to be that big of a spoiler because it's probably going to be wrong. Um, I want to ask you this. Okay. They asked the question in like their third part of it. Cause you know how they do articles where it's like, here's part one, here's part two. Then you got to click to page two um, to see the rest of it. Was Carol's mother secret, secretly a Kree soldier? Are they going to work that into the origin story in some way? I don't know. I don't... To me, I'm like, no, don't touch that. I don't know if they really would do that. Like, to me, it's... The thing I like most about it is... This is like... They can touch... Oh, they can touch her origin story in a way... I'm going to say in a way we haven't seen in the MCU. Yeah. Where it's through memories, it's through going back in time. Because if you think about the origins, Iron Man was a true origin story. Cap was a two, true origin story. I would even say Thor's was yeah. a true origin story. Um, Doctor Strange, same thing. Um, Guardians, same thing. I'm yeah. trying to see if I'm missing anybody. Black Panther, they didn't really need to because his was his origin. Like him and Spider Man, they didn't need to because they did both of them in Civil War. Yeah. Like and they then introduced they... them in a movie to where it's like, it's stupid for me to show you how he becomes Black Panther. Yeah, exactly. But then, I mean, they, you sort of had one afterwards, him mm-hmm. kind of like com- coming to becoming king. Yeah, it's more of an origin of Panther. Wakanda than Black Panther. Yeah, you learn the origin mm-hmm. of Wakanda. You learn where his powers come from. You mm-hmm. learn you learn all that, and then you see him become king. So it's not an actual origin story. It's more yeah. of a coming of... I almost want to call it a coming of age story. Mm-hmm. He's finally becoming king. It's yeah. All that stuff's coming It's the Lion King. Yeah. It's basically the Lion King, yeah. for, but MCU. Um, <laughs> this one, though, it looks like... Because I'm assuming that blockbuster scene is either at the beginning or near the beginning. I like, think it's... it's either going to be... The beginning of the movie and like title scene, and we see the thing crashing down, or it's hey, there's a space war with Star Force in it, and then she gets hit, and that's why she gets hurled, and then boom, crashes down on Earth. It's got to be, I'm gonna say, we get that within the first 30 minutes of the movie, her crashing down. Oh, I think so, on Earth, um, because. That, to me, was like, okay, we got to get her back on Earth. And with the origin story, we're starting. She's already Captain Marvel, and we're not going to explain why she's got this. We're just going to expect you to just understand with everything that we're doing. This is Captain Marvel. This is what she does. We'll explain stuff as it goes on. Mm -hmm. Um, My question for you is, do do you think Jude Law's character is the one suppressing her memories. Like, we see her hanging upside down with her hands locked and um, the waves going into her brain, obviously, to... I'm thinking that's kind of like a mind control thing where it's like, we're going to suppress your memories. From what I'm looking, from when I'm watching it, Mm -hmm. 
I almost it looks like the powers that like she releases. So it looks like it's almost mm-hmm. like maybe like a flashback of what she was going through beforehand. I don't know. Like how they were testing her and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Like genetically I was genetically altered in a lab, like one of those. That, yeah, that's well, what you she mean? sort of was. Yeah. Which is why, like, because it looks sort of like the power she gives off mm-hmm. is the same, like, coloration and everything that goes into her. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of weird because it also looks sort of like the Bifrost, but, yeah. like, clearer. Well, there's also people that say, like, so in the trailer when she does the yeah. blast on the train or, like, even there was a little bit of it forming around her, her hand. hand. Yeah. People are starting to say that that looks awfully familiar to the quantum energy. That too, yeah. So many people are thinking, oh, that's how they're going to get Ant-Man in Avengers 5. Which, by the way, this is an aside to Captain Marvel. There is a photo that the Russo brothers, I think, put out there that people have traced. the. It's like a set image of the set. Mm -hmm. And if you trace certain things... People are now assuming that the Avengers 5 or Avengers 4, are we on? I don't even remember anymore. The next Avengers movie. Um, It'll be 4. Avengers 4 is going to be called Endgame. So that was one of the ones that we had talked about because people like mapped out like, oh, these things are in Endgame is what it says. I'm at the thing of like Russo's. When you're ready to tell me, You'll tell just me. tell me the name. I am not concerned at what the name of this movie is. I just want to go ahead and see it. But no, when it comes like the thing I like most about this trailer is that it didn't have it didn't have to hype me up so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. It didn't maybe it's because <clears throat> like I've been anticipating a first look. Maybe you're sitting there at home going, Well, Ricky, like That's the problem with this trailer. We should have had something that was a little bit more, um, oh, what am I saying? Like, oh, my God, eye-popping. And even at the end, the thing that um, I didn't even mention is about a minute 40 into the trailer, you see green suit, helmet. Is that Mm. Marvel or is that um, Danvers wearing the Marvel costume with the helmet? Like that too is say like it's probably Danvers because it look because it's her like Captain Marvel. What it, to me it looks like mm-hmm. it says her Captain Marvel costume with helmet. Yeah, because you even see like in another scene where they're flying all together. Because Marvel's the strip of hair down the middle. Yeah, because I mean Marvel's costume is basically sorry not Marvel's Cree. Marvel's costume. Yeah, Captain but I'm, Marvel. But I'm saying <laughs> yeah, Marvel's costume is basically a Creed soldier uniform. Yeah. Um, it's not anything special. Like, well, man, so this is hers is the Marvel- until she gets the red and blue. Exactly. No, but that's what I mean. Like Marvel, you look at the comics and images. Usually, you see that green Cree suit, which is basically yeah. It, if we're going this, just a Cree army suit. Yeah, Cree warrior. Anything that you think we haven't mentioned from this trailer that you think we have to hit? No, I think we covered enough of it, but uh, what I want to say is, like, it's not that they had to make it visually popping. They did not, like, mm-hmm. have to grab you All the and special yank effects. you in. It, they did a good done. job of, hey, mm-hmm. you do want to see this. And yeah. Pull you're me right. into the story. Let me know like, what the story is They didn't is have to, be. like, like grab you physically mm-hmm. and yank you in. It's like, like you, Avengers. You want to see this. Like Avengers, it was like a, holy shit, yeah, what's no. going to happen? This one is more like a, huh? This is like a Jedi mind trick. Interesting. You want to see this movie? Yeah, I. You right? I think people. Shit, you right? I. The thing that I think also is people want to see this to see how it links into the. I'm gonna call it the final Avengers movie because it's gonna yes. put a nice end on this ten year run that we had. But this was one where it wasn't like a ex, except for the very end. I'll be honest, the end of the trailer where it, it's just. Her and the powers are coming, and she looks up, and she's in the red and blue costume to where it's like, yes, that is what I want. Yes, and I cannot wait. And then I'm to like, see that. and let's go Avengers Four. Where can we just get that right after? Like they play this movie, and then it's like, oh, special screening of Avengers Four. We finished it early. Here you go. Thanks to uh, Robert Downey Jr. Um, for getting this done. Here you go, guys. Like, can we just get that? Like right after. What if they did that? Where it was basically. After the Captain Marvel movie, RJD walks out on screen and he's like, 
Hey, Kev. Come here, Kev. Kev walks out with him. Um, you think you think we can do something? For, like, I feel like these people deserve something after seeing uh, the movie that we just saw. Why don't we just show Avengers 4, man? Why don't we just... We got it done. I know you got it done. And just, boom, show Avengers 4 right after Captain Marvel. <laughs> you know how expensive that ticket would be? Oh, very, like, very expensive. They would yeah. lose money if they did it that way. Oh, God. Also, the sitting there part... Yeah. For me, no problem. But I also know that because way back when um, the final Dark Knight movie yeah. came out, the Nolan trilogy... Um, when that one came out, Dave and I, instead of just seeing the third one again, we bought the special ticket where it's like, you went in at six o'clock on Thursday and they showed Batman Begins, then had a like short intermission. Mm -hmm. Then they showed the Dark Knight, short intermission, and then right at midnight, boom, the last Batman movie. Well, when the Avengers movie that just came out came out in theaters. Mm -hmm. I was asking multiple people, I think you included. Yeah, well they hey, did, yeah. They had the script they have this, want, it starts on Thursday. If I didn't have a job to go to, Johnny, uh, I would have. Just call off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have enough vacation days. Um, just call off. If I would have been able to, we would have been going. I, I just, it was all from Iron Man 1 mm -hmm. all the way through to Infinity Wars and I'm like I feel I feel I like I want to do this. We need to I take off. I feel like we should have wait like I feel like waiting till this next Avengers movie is the right place. Oh, we for better. That. We better for this is next right Avengers pull. movie. Even if we have to do it by ourselves. Yeah. Because you have all the movies. I actually did something I never do, and I bought a Marvel movie. Oh. I saw Avengers Infinity War and was like, I should own this. Like, yeah. this should be the one I own. That's what so I So I picked did. up that Blu ray um, while I was going out to pick up a new external hard drive. Well, I mean, I still have editing. to buy Ant Man and the Wasp, but mm -hmm. I don't think they came out yet. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> I mean, it might, but uh, this is it where might, guys, it will. I don't know. It might. Um, this is where you guys come in. Let us know what you think down below in that comment section. What do you think of the trailer? What do you think will happen with some of these story things for Captain Marvel leading into the next Avengers movie?